I want to welcome you back to Black Side First. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and let's get into the subject. Nick Cannon has apologized to the Jewish community for his hurtful words. He also said he feels ashamed. It only took one day for Nick Cannon to change his mind and apologize for what he said about the Jews. And I want to tell all you young people who subscribe to my channel, this tells you who truly has the power in America. It's not Donald Trump. It's not white supremacy. It's the Jewish community. Because I told you in an earlier video, it's two communities you can't talk about in this country. That's the Jewish community and the alphabet community. Even if you want to have a historical discussion, you can't have that with the Jewish community. They have the power to white mail you. They have the power to cut off all resources that you may want. They have the power to make sure that you won't eat at night. That's what real power is in America. You can see all these professional athletes from LeBron James, Colin Kaepernick. You can see all these entertainers from Beyonce to Jay-Z. You can see all these actresses, Holly Berry. They can talk all that trash about white supremacy. They can say F you to Donald Trump. They can say whatever they want. But those two communities that I just mentioned earlier, you will never hear a peep out of them. You can walk into a, 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 a crowd of a 500 black people and none of them, none of them in Hollywood will say anything negative about the Jews. So now you know who has the real power. You know who controls the mass media. You know who controls the banking industry. You know who controls politics. And that's the Jewish community. For us to gain power, we must do what they do. They represent 2.3% of the population in America. But they control what you say and who you say it to. That's real power. That's real supremacy. And you just saw it on display with Nick Cannon. Because if he would never had apologized to Donald Trump. He would have never apologized for using the word white supremacy. He would never apologize for using the N-word or saying he gonna shoot a brother. But once he missing anything that has to do with the Jewish community, he's on hand and knee begging for apology and he gets to keep his job at Fox with the mask singer. Man, they have buck broken us again. And they do it in front of the whole world to let all the world know if you Negroes get out of line, you will be apologizing just like Nick Cannon and many others have did in the past. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button and share this video.